Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are starting our Eidolon guides for 2022 slash 23, if the devs don't update it anymore. So today we are going to be focusing on lure fast charging, which is the start to any good Eidolon hunt. And we'll be explaining that as we go. But just before we start this video, I just want to give a quick disclaimer. So for those of you who are or have been following my Warframe done efficiently playthrough. Fret not, I know there is not an episode up today, but it will be continuing next week. As some of you know, I was on holiday last week, so that's why there is no episode of that today, but it will be carrying on. Uh, secondly, I have a bit of a sore throat at the moment, so apologies if my my audio sort of goes a bit strange during this. It's, it's, my, it's my voice, not the microphone. Uh, and thirdly, I am no longer... I suppose as much of an expert at eidolon hunting as I once was in the past. However, these guides are going to be from a solo perspective only this year, since solo hunting eidolons has become so much easier and it uses far less resources than it once did. So that's why we're going to be focusing on solo, because essentially it's very easy to do solo now. Obviously, if you're in a group, you can still do the solo tactics and it will pay off just as well. So, you know, Always good to look at it from a solo perspective because when you get into the group, you, you've already got everything down. Um, and yeah, we'll hop straight into the planes now and take a look at this. I'm not going to be running through anything like operator builds or too much. We're not going to look too much into the vault build either, to be honest. We're just going to be looking at idle on lure, fast charging, what it is, what it's for, why you want to do it, and how it's going to improve your run. And we'll take a look at some of the basic mechanics around that. Hopefully... This will be a bit more in-depth than some of the other guides on there, which just show you, you know, um, the, the fastest run possible and they don't really give much information on what's going on. So you guys have to try and copy stuff. I'm going to try and explain some stuff during this, which should allow you to develop your own hunting style and stuff like that. So we'll hop straight into the planes and we'll explain what we're going to do. So for those of you who are new to hunting, an Eidolon lure can be found at any Grenier camp. You've probably seen them around if you've even been into the Plains of Eidolon. This is what they look like. Um, and you can get an Eidolon lure by just shooting it and then hacking it. Hitting Y, I would recommend, for using a cipher. That will instantly hack the lure. Uh, and then there we go. We have a lure now following us around. Now... This is kind of the, the simple approach to getting a lure, obviously. And in order to charge a lure, you are going to need to put three Vonvalists into it in a spectral form. And that basically just means shooting the Vonvalist uh, until it goes blue, and then dragging the lure near it, or bringing the Vonvalist closer to the lure and then doing it. That will then put the Vonvalist into it. And yeah, once the lure is blue, you then have a charged Eidolon lure. And the benefit of having a charged Eidolon lure is that when you kill the Synovia on an Eidolon, be it a Terrorist, Gantalist, or Hydrist, the Eidolon will not teleport away. So if you did it without a charged lure and you killed the Synovia, which is one of the limbs on the Eidolon, uh, it would just teleport and bugger off. So yeah, very important to have a charged lure. And the earlier you can charge a lure, the earlier you can shoot the first limb of the Terrorist, which means that your run obviously gets a load of time saved because you're not just going around looking for Vonvalists and then start, you know, killing the first terrorist limb at a minute 20 or whatever it is so let's go ahead i'm just going to quickly go around and uh find some vomitous guys we'll get this charged up so that you guys can see what it's like if you are new if you are not new uh then probably just skip this bit because you already know all of this information uh and we'll get on to the uh the mechanics so you need three vomitists to charge the lure so there's two um let's head over and just try and find some more Okay, here's two more. That's the third one, and you can see it goes blue. We don't need the fourth one. Uh, we've already got the third one there. So, let's just demonstrate, uh, just to show you guys, obviously, who are new, um, what happens when we take out the, the limb here with the charged lure. You'll notice that the Eidolon does not teleport away, so we'll just do something uh, like this. And if we just sit around for a second and let this energy spike go off. We can see the Eidolon stays exactly where it is. And we can then just carry on shooting things. Oh, that wasn't very good. Uh, and yeah, you can just keep going like that. So, 
basically, that's how you hold the Eidolon in place. And as we said before, we are now going to move on to the uh, in-depth nitty-gritty now that we've done that uh, and look at some of the mechanics and the best ways to fast charge allure and we are going to be focusing solely on east camp in this uh, video reason being we are doing this in solo and getting allure fully charged in solo can be very difficult on mid camp which is the other grenier camp that people like to collect their lures from uh, so this one right here but yeah we're going to be using East Camp only because for solo, in my opinion at least, it is by far the best one to use for fast charging allure. And we're going to go through the kind of various, I guess, different approaches you can use to fast charging the lure and the Vonvalist spawns and how they work. So yeah, let's start by just uh, doing a couple uh, clips here of fast charging and the different approaches you can take. Okay guys, so in the ideal scenario, we want to be able to head over to East Camp and have the Vonvalist spawn by the lure instantly, so that we can then hack the lure, drag the Vonvalists in, then go and find another pair of Vonvalists and still have enough time to get over to the Eidolon Terrorist with our now charged lure before the Eidolon's shield comes up. That way we have the fastest possible start imaginable. So the way that this is going to work, we're going to go in here and do a quick run. We'll head over to East Camp. There's a pair of tall trees, which you'll see they're marked um, with a waypoint on mine, so you'll be able to see them. Uh, we're just going to basically dash over to there in our arc wing and sit above it and watch the camp for uh, Vonvalist spawn. Sorry. Now, Vonvalist spawn on a six-second rotating timer, which means that we need to get over to that pair of trees as quickly as possible in order to get the Vonvalist spawns. Once we have the Vonvalist spawn... We'll then Arcwing in and we'll take out any Eximus units that are there, particularly the Inferno ones or Blitz or whatever they're called, that give the giant kind of Novas. And they will just, you know, launch the Lures and the Vonvalists into space and it will just create chaos, adding time to the start of our run. So any Eximus units I'd recommend just killing on site as soon as you see them. Um... Now, once we've killed all the enemies in the camp, we can then look for another set of Vonvalists. Because we are playing on solo, there is a much lower spawn cap for enemies, which means that we have to kill all the enemies in the camp in order for another pair of Vonvalists to spawn. If you're in a squad, this is not an issue anyway, because, you know, someone else at the start can dash out of the gate. If you've seen my previous videos on Eidolon Guides, it's essentially the same tactic. But for solo, we need to kill all the enemies, to allow room in the spawn uh, caps of the enemies for another set of Vonvalists to spawn. So that's what we're going to do there. So let's go in and just uh, demonstrate that now. So as soon as you come out here, we'll hit our second ability on Vault to give ourselves a bit more speed. Head over to these two trees. Grab the lure. Kill all the enemies in the camp. And then we can look for another pair of Vonvalists. I usually like to go over here, but you can go onto the island uh, in the middle. I generally get luckier over here. And then we'll head over to the Terror List. And there we go. Nice and quick start. I'm using uh, Magus Melt, by the way, for the quick uh, kill on the limbs. But like I said, we'll go into the Operator build uh, a bit later on. So that's kind of the ideal start. Um, we are a bit sloppy over at the camp and, you know, gathering other things up. But that's the general gist of it. So let's see what happens now if we're a bit later over to the trees and what we can do if that happens. Okay, guys. So similarly to last time, we're going to go over to East Camp. But I'm going to wait a couple seconds as we come out of the gate just so that the Vonvalists aren't going to spawn instantly when we get over to East Camp. Uh, and then what we're going to do, rather than taking out the Vonvalists, killing all the enemies in the camp, and then grabbing another set of Vonvalists, we are just going to take out the Vonvalists and head straight over to the Terrorist. And after about a second or two from the shield becoming vulnerable, we will then have another Vonvalist spawn underneath the Eidolon, assuming we've got there in time. 
So that's what's going to be happening. The reason that we're not going to be grabbing a second set of Vombalists for this one is that we've already lost six seconds to, you know, the late Vombalist spawn. And if we try and get another pair of Vombalists, although it's technically possible to get over to the Terrorist in time still, it's not advisable, particularly if the Terrorist is miles away, um, because, you know, you might end up wasting more time than it's worth. So let's go ahead and, uh, and just give that a trial run. So I'm going to come out of the gate here and, like I said, wait a second. And then we'll head over to East Camp. Park up. As you can see, when we hit about the 10 second mark here, or the 11 second mark. There you go. There's the Vonvolus spawning in a bit late. So we're going to grab this. Pull those guys in. And then we can head over to the Terralis, wherever he is. Here he is. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and just take down the shield. There's the Vombalist. Take out the limb. And you can charge the lure. So we probably lost a second. Maybe, actually, we lost about two or three seconds, to be honest, from this, from this method. But it still works just as before. And then you can carry on. So not too bad at all. So those are kind of the two methods that you want to be working with in your runs. And you kind of want to be flipping between the two of them, particularly if you're not, you know, very consistent with getting the early spawns. As soon as you get a late spawn, you want to be thinking, okay, let's just grab it and we'll get the next one at the Terrorist. That's how you can be become more consistent with your runs. And that's what I would recommend doing. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an insight into, you know, how fast charging lures actually works. What I'm going to do quickly now, just before uh, we end the video, I'll quickly just show you my build on the Vault and also the Itzal. Nothing else particularly matters in this particular guide because we're going to be going through Zenith build and everything else in another video at some point. So yeah, for now, we'll just come out and uh, take a look at the build. Alright guys, so like I said before, I don't proclaim to be an expert at Eidolon hunting anymore and my build is going to reflect that. There's going to be stuff missing and mods that I don't know about and yeah, don't take it at face value, put your own twist on it, stuff like that. I've also gone a bit overkill on this because I've put Rush and um, Sprint Boost on in order to improve my Arcwing speed. I found that this does improve my chances of getting Vonvalists nice and early when you go to east camp so bear that in mind but this is the kind of build you want to be looking at um nice decent duration and you know around the 200 percent strength mark should do you fine um and then for our zenith which is what we were using to capture the lures this is what we've got this is my uh riven mod not ideal as it doesn't have multi-shot which is really kind of needed for this to be honest but it does the trick and yeah that's kind of it really for our Itzal, again, full movement speed, so flight speed there. We've got Cold Snap and also uh, Ability Range, which is going to affect our Cosmic Crush. That's what we, we're using to pull in the Vombalists. Uh, and, uh, yeah, basically everything else. Primorphic Transformer might help you kill the enemies at the camp, but it's not needed. Um, so that's kind of it, guys. What I did want to do quickly, just before I end here... Um, I wanted to explain a bit more about the uh, the instant lure hacks. Basically, in order to do an, an instant lure hack, what you need to do is in your arc wing, obviously you can blink around when you're in arc wing. And the idea is that if you aim your blink well enough and it's going to land in the proximity of a lure, you can hit X whilst you're blinking. And that will then get you into the lure hack screen. Not that you'll be able to see it. And then you can use Y, which is the default for using ciphers, to instantly hack the lure. So if we just demonstrate that over here real quick, we can shoot that lure so that it becomes vulnerable. We can then blink and press X instantly, as you can see. Um, so let's actually just uh, come out of that and try it again with the, uh, the Y included. So once again, we'd come in, we'd shoot it. Blink X, Y, and that is the combo you need. So that's how you would fast charge a lure by blinking into it. Hopefully, though, guys, this video has been informative at the very least. If you guys do have any questions or perhaps you know any better ways to fast charge lures, then do leave them down in the comments below. I'll be happy to read through them and respond to anything. Please don't ask too much about, you know, builds um, for the Zenith, for Vault, for anything like that, because that's going to be covered in a future video. Um... 
And yeah, I'll be going through that then. So so don't bother asking anything about that because it will be up in the future. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.